I'm here at Johnny's Selected Seeds in beautiful Albion, Maine to meet with Michelle Pyle, the finance director. It's her job to make sure that this business has efficient accounting workflows and that ultimately this organization can do what it does best. Michelle, thank you so much for having me to the farm. Tell me a bit about Johnny's Select Seeds. Johnny's was actually started back in the early 70s by a gentleman who had a passion for feeding the community and developing good food. And about 10 years ago, we became 100% employee owned. What we do is a little unique in that we have the research and development farm where we're being innovative with new products and bringing things into our catalog and then distributing seeds, tools, and supplies across the world. So how do you know when you have a winner? How do you know when you've got something that's ready to go in the catalog? You're talking to the accountant, so I'm going to say when it sells well. So when it's profitable. <laughs> we serve a wide range of customers. We have the beginning home gardener all the way to the large commercial farms. We handle roughly 14,000, 15,000 different SKUs. A significant amount of our sales are on the e-commerce side, as well as we have a call center. So Michelle, <laughs> why did you select Intact? I needed a system that could handle the information and the complexity of going from research and development to distribution, inventory, as well as the finance side. I'm always telling my team we work smarter, not harder. We were issuing a lot of paper checks. We used to do 75% checks and 25% electronic. Now we're the exact opposite. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. It's opened up opportunities for me to get into other areas of the business that I didn't necessarily have time for. Managers being able to get timely information and actually be able to access information themselves, where it used to take us hours of reconfiguring spreadsheets. One of the things that I'm so excited about with AP Automation is the AI. The AI that takes the bill, it reads the bill, takes the data off the bill, puts it into the system. How have you found it so far? Uploading that bill and having the system recognize, oh, that's this vendor, and knows exactly where to pull that information. So all we're doing is a review of the information that's in the system, and then once it's approved, it's done. It's a wonderful thing. <laughs> How's the work that Michelle's been doing with AP Automation helping you to make better decisions in the innovation pipeline? Bringing a new product to market, if it's something that we're distributing, may take one to three years, and if it's a totally new plant variety that we're developing, it can take up to 10 years. I have real-time information now, so I can at any moment drill into what the spending has been year to date, where that is, to be sure that everything is being accounted properly, and know that I do or don't have enough money to take advantage of the next opportunity to maybe double down on the work that we're doing so that we can bring a product to market faster. I'm a field person. Anything that reduces my time trying to manipulate or navigate paperwork, but rather spending time in the field, understanding the products, making those decisions, it's, it's really important. So would you say you're sleeping better at night? Having one point or one source of truth just gives me that peace of mind to be able to say, I know where the information is feeding from and we have certain data integrity checkpoints, so I know that we have the complete picture. And then driving the decisions from that complete picture has just been a big savings for us. What an impressive operation this is. I learned from Michelle that AP Automation is its more than just making things more efficient. It's actually about enabling the managers here to make better decisions. Ultimately, it's gonna make their business more successful.